basically. So anyways, guys, if we want to graph neg um, theta equals negative 108 degrees, all right, the main important thing, guys, is we see that this is a negative angle. So this is in standard form. We know that here's my initial side, and I'm going to go and be going down in a negative direction, right? The measurement's going to remain the same, but we know we're going down the negative direction. Now, let's go of what measurements we know. We know if I rotate from here to here, that's 90 degrees. From here to here is 180. So I know that 108 degrees is somewhere in between 90 and 180, and it's probably a little bit closer here, right? We're not asking you guys to be perfect, but you should recognize that 100 in negative 108 degrees is roughly going to be somewhere like right around there. I mean, I'm, all right, fine. Maybe be less, maybe like there, a little bit better. Then, no, sure, you're starting here and you're ending here, so you're showing your rotation. Yes. Measurement from here to here is 90 degrees. That's a right angle. Yeah. Measurement from here to here is a straight angle. That's 180 degrees. Remember, deg your angle is how far you're rotating things. So if you're rotating something from here to here, it's 90. If you rotate something from here to here, it's 180. Yeah, but I thought you started at the top because it's 90. You start here. The bearing you started due north. Here you're starting on the positive x-axis. 